Micromanagement is to manage with excessive control or attention to detail. It is one of the most widely condemned managerial sins and one of the most common employee complaints. Among other things, it contributes to low morale, high turnover, inefficiency, instability, and lack of continuity in an organization. In a Trinity Solution survey, 79% of respondents revealed that they had or were currently experiencing micromanagement in the workplace, while a staggering 69% had considered changing jobs. But why do people micromanage? Often it is an unconscious behavior. Typically it is the convergence between an operational and an informational focus, both being at an unhealthy level. Simply put, Micromanagers want information and they want to operate. Micromanagers, by and large, are not doing so to torture those around them or cause adverse effects. They're generally well-intentioned. They want to assist in a time of crisis. They want to be a hands-on manager. They want to provide their attention to detail. They want to ensure the timely completion of the task. Or they want to control spending when budgets are tight. With that in mind, here are eight steps you as a leader can take to not fall into the trap of micromanagement. Number one, understand your intentions. What drives you as a leader when working on a tactical level with your team? With that in mind, you can begin to be more deliberate. For example, Purposely focus only on the main headline. Number two, hire the right people. Surround yourself with a team that you can trust. Number three, accept error. Everyone makes mistakes, even you as a leader. Accept them as part of the learning and coaching process. Number four, set clear goals. Goals are expectations of the intended outcome and they leave the door open for the detailed path towards achieving them. Number five, physically remove yourself from the team. Travel, work from home, take a day off, and only leave behind an explicit statement of trust. Number six, create transparency. If you start micromanaging because you don't have access to detail, make sure that the process or project is transparent and the details are available to you and to everyone else. Number seven, leave your comfort zone. This may not be easy, but give your team more responsibility than you are comfortable. Number eight, think about the flip side. You are undoubtedly also reporting to someone. What annoys you or turns you off is likely to turn off those around you. Lead others as you would like to be led.